A bridge battle brewing in Detroit, and this time it has nothing to do with the Gordie Howe Bridge. But it has everything to do with the Maroon family's plan to build a new span across the Detroit River. And to do that, they need a key piece of land that was promised to them years ago by the city. Rob Maloney, live tonight at Riverside Park. Rod, show us what's at stake here. Well, come on me with a tour. There's the bridge behind me. See the green space over here. That's four acres of land that the city now owns that the Maroons traded for. And the reason it's so important is because look down here. See the cement pad there? It's really essentially a launch pad for that new bridge to take it back across the river here. So yes, it's vital land. And it's land the city had agreed to give to the Maroons. April 2015, Mayor Mike Duggan surprised by announcing a negotiated deal with Matthew Maroon. We are building a completely different kind of relationship. My confidence comes from his confidence and uh, uh -huh. and I think it's going to turn out just fine. Maroon traded this riverfront land now under development by the city $3 million in cash to fund knocking down an old newspaper building and allow the city to completely rebuild Riverside Park in exchange for that land right under the bridge. Six years later, the deal is up for city council final approval, and it's getting heavy pushback from council member Raquel Castadena Lopez, who spoke in a city council committee Zoom hearing today. It's the same concerns about uh, truck activity, air quality issues, sound pollution, et cetera, et cetera, the lack of engagement and the lack of being good corporate neighbors. Still, she does have support strong support as a long line of Detroiters joined her in speaking out against the deal today. It's it's frustrating and, and, and disheartening. City of Detroit Group Executive of Services and Infrastructure Brad Dick is the guy spending the Maroon money and he's looking forward to getting the last payment of two million dollars the Maroons promised in that deal when they get the land. We need that two million dollar exchange money from from the bridge corporation to finish the last section of the park. So here's the thing. They want, Casadena Lopez wants to have a community benefits agreement with the Maroon family, but that's not something that's required in this particular contract. In the meantime, council is going to be taking it up in early November. The Maroon family had no comment today. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Oh, there's been a lot of drama about this for sure. We appreciate it. Thank you, Rod. Looking forward to that vote.